winching a boat. A winch placing 16 feet high above a bow is pulling the bow at 5 feet per second. Find the rate of change of the distance between the boat and the dock when the rope is 20 feet long. So this is a related rate problem. Uh, usually when you get a related problem on a test or on a homework, they don't give you any graphs. They expect you to be able to draw the graph by yourself. So this graph, I already drew it for you. So we have a winch that is placing 16 feet high above the boat and then here is the boat and then here is the rope so the winch so you are rolling the winch right so as you are ro rolling the winch the rope is getting shorter and shorter as a result you are pulling the boat to this direction so here is the dock and then you are pulling the boat to this direction now so the first step is graph so we already have the graph and then you also need to label the graphs. So let's do some labels. So uh, we have a rope. So the rope, uh, let's call the rope uh, a, a Y. So let's call distance of the rope is Y and then the distance between the dock and the boat is X. Okay, what else do we know? We have a 16 and then the boat is pulling at five speed per second. So pulling the boat at five speed per second. So that means the boat is going to this direction at five feet per second. Okay, so let's write this down. So we have the derivative of x with respect to time, right? At 5 feet per second. So this is 5 feet per second. Instead of writing 5 feet per second, I want to ask you a question. Is 5 positive or negative? Again, is dx dt positive 5 or negative 5? That, that means I am asking you this. Is the distance between the boat and the dog increasing or decreasing? Once again, you are going to this direction, right? That means the distance between the boat and the dock is decreasing. As a result, dx dt is equal to negative 5, not positive 5. If you are driving off the dock, then dx dt is positive 5. Next, find the rate of change of the distance between the boat and the dock. So that means dy dt is unknown. When what? When the rope is 20 feet long. So when y is equal to 20. So when y is equal to 20, you have to find dy dt. Okay, so now the label is done. And then how about the, the next thing? The next step is you have an equation, right? So let's drop down the equation. So the equation, I will be using the Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorem, so that is uh, x squared plus 16 squared equals to y squared. So x squared plus 16 squared that is equals to y squared. Once again, this is called Pythagorean theorem. And then you have to use derivative, right? Because we need to find rate of change. So derivative, you have to use implicit, take the derivative of x and y, the entire equation with respect to time t. So first of all, we have 2x and then implicit dx dt, the derivative of 16 squared is equals to zero. So we plus a zero. And then we have a 2y dy dt. So this is implicit differentiation. And then you do the plug-in and then you solve for the unknown. All right. So uh, do we do we know x? So we don't know x yet. So we have 2 times x. And then dx dt is equals to negative 5 plus 0 equals to 2. And then y is equals to 20. dy dt is unknown. So we need to find x because we cannot solve one equation with two unknowns. So how do we find x? So to find x, we have to use Pythagorean theorem again. So let's do this in, in another color. So for Ty Pythagorean theorem, we have a right triangle. And then at that time, y is equals to 20. And then the height is always 16. x, we don't know. So using Pythagorean theorem, we have to use x squared plus 16 square that is equals to 20 square so x square is equals to 20 square is uh, 416 square is 256 or so minus 256 x square is equals to 144 as a result x is equals to 12 right you take the square root on both sides don't worry about negative 12 because distance cannot be negative okay so here is your negative 12 and then you solve for dy dt for me all right so uh, we have a negative 10 Oh, ha, huh. past the 12. Why do I put a negative? Past the 12. And then uh, 12, 2 times 5 is negative 10. Negative 10 times 12 times, times 20. 
that is equals to a negative. Hold on, we have twelve, so we plug in x equals to twelve. So x equals to twelve. We have two times twelve times negative five. So two times. So that is a negative ten. So this is a negative one twenty. Let me. Match the color for you. So we have a negative one hundred and twenty. So that is equals to forty, right? So this is a dy dt, and then uh, solve for dy dt for me. So dy dt that is equals to negative one twenty divided by forty. So that is equals to negative three, right? So that is equals to negative three. And then what's the the unit? Tell me the unit. Negative one twenty divided by forty. So we have negative three. So what's the unit? What is y stands for? Y stands for the length of the rope, and the negative three is negative three feet per second. Can rate of change be negative? The answer is yes. So when the rate of change is negative, that means the distance, I should say, the length of the rope is decreasing. So length of the rope is decreasing at three feet per second. That's how you explain the negative. Decreasing at three feet per second. So uh, allow me to to give you an what if. So here is a what if. So you what you are trying to do is you are trying to you know rope the winch and then pull the boat right. So what if I want to, I drive the boat away. So you are pulling the boat. Okay, let let's write 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 this down. I want to give you an additional problem. So here is the what if. So what if dx dt is equal to six feet per second. What does that mean? That means I am driving the boat away from the dock. You are trying to pull me to the dock, right? And then I'm going to turn on the boat and then drive, drive off the dock. So that means the boat is going away from the dock. So going away from the dock. So you are trying to pull me in, right? So, but I change your mind. I'm going to turn on the boat and then going away. So what happened? Let me give you a few givens. So if you are going away, then what is what is dy dt equals to? So dy dt, what is that equals to? When the rope is twenty feet long. So I'm going to change the, the entire problem. The part problem is pulling the boat to the dock. I am trying to drive away from the dock. So what is dy dt equals to? And then how do we do this? So let's we we call the equation. We have sixteen square plus x square equals to y square, right? And then we do implicit differentiation. So zero equals to zero plus two x, and then dx dt. That is equals to two y and then dy dt. This is implicit differentiation, and then dx dt is equals to six. So we have two times x. We don't know x yet, and then dx dt is six. And then what about the y? So we y is equals to twenty, and then what is dy dt equals to? We don't know. So last time we solve for. Last time we solve for dy dt. This time we are solving for dy dt again, and then dx. dx dt we got a six so what is x equals to so to find out what x equals to we need that triangle so the height is always sixteen and then y is equals to twenty so this is what x equals to so we have x square plus sixteen square equals to twenty square if you look to the left to the top left hand side you can see that x is equals to twelve right so this is x equals to twelve so what we are going to do next is we want to solve for dy dt so what is dy dt equals to so dy dt that is equals to two Times six times twelve, so that is equals to a hundred and forty-four divided by two times twenty, so that is equals to forty, and this is approximately equals to three point six, and then the unit is feet per second. So in the previous problem, I have a positive three. I mean, I have a negative three for dy dt, and then this time I have a positive. What does that mean? So that means the length of the rope. Is increasing, so what does that mean? So you have a triangle like this, right? So this is a winch, and then this is boat, and then this is the rope. 
So in the previous problem, we are going to this direction. So that's why the that's why dx dt is decreasing, and then since you are pulling the rope, so that's why dy dt is decreasing as well. But in this problem, the boat is going to this direction. So I am making the rope longer and longer. So since the length of the rope is increasing, so that's why the dy dt is positive. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you think my instruction is clear and helpful, give me a like, share the video for me, click the subscribe button if you're on your way out. I will see you all in the next one. Signing out.